The economy tops national news this Monday. The Central Bank of the Bahamas claims that the pace and timing of the country's economic recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic will depend largely on how effectively domestic interventions manage the spread of COVID-19 and the speed of global efforts to contain infections, as well as to make a, widely vac a vaccine widely available. Cleopatra Murphy takes a closer look at the Central Bank's monthly economic and financial development report for September. In pandemic still weighing heavily on the Bahamian economy. Governor of the Central Bank of the Bahamas, John Rule, says the Bahamas' tourism sector will not see a full recovery until 2023. Rule made revisions to previous economic forecasts during a Zoom press conference Monday morning. He says the delayed resumption of tourism has deprived the country of foreign exchange inflows. With the recovery slowed, Rule says it is now projected that the economy will experience lower inflows next year, in 2021, than were forecasted in the earlier months of the COVID-19 pandemic. It was always anticipated that when tourism reopened, seasonal activity would be a diminished fraction of the occupancy rates normally enjoyed, and that thereafter the gradual strengthening of business might span more than 24 months. This would place the expected full recovery of tourism at some point in 2023. It should be cautioned that although the economy could experience moderate growth in 2021, it would only be in comparison to the very restrained outcome of 2020. Rowe says the country's monetary policy priorities will have to remain trained on reduced availability of foreign exchange from private sector activity and safeguarding the stability of the domestic financial sector. He says government will have to continue to foster confidence among domestic and external debt holders to maintain access to deficit financing. This comes down to a factor of sustaining confidence that the medium-term fiscal consolidation strategy will pay down the accumulated debt from the pandemic within a time frame that does not protract the economy's exposure to devastating hurricanes that could further derail debt reduction efforts. The government will also be under increased obligation to continue to economize on expenditures and to undertake reforms to strengthen revenue collections. Roll also revealed that foreign inflows up to September, tourism and other export earnings fell by more than one-third, while foreign exchange demands fell nearly 15%. The governor of the central bank says at the end of the quarter three, external reserves stood at $2.1 billion, while this month external reserve balances were nearer to $2.3 billion. He says reserves are expected to end 2020 higher than they were in 2019. That said, the projected near-term reduction in holdings has only shifted to the first quarter or the first half of 2021. As stated, Managing foreign exchange usage is one of our top policy priorities. Exclusion of access to foreign exchange for non-essential uses is the prudent stance that the central bank expects to maintain through, the, through at least the first half of 2021, and potentially longer if the recovery is too delayed or subdued. Cleopatra Murphy, CNS Network News.